everyone. Okay, this is video number three. Um, I would like to make a correction. In my uh, second video, the last bag, the Dolce & Gabbana, um, the chocolate brown one, I had said that the straps were eel skin, and they're not eel skin, it's lizard. Okay, so I just wanted to uh, bring that to your attention. Actually, my son brought it to my attention, so... Um, uh, I just want to thank him for bringing that to my attention. I wanted to let you guys know. Okay, so like I said, this is the, the last video uh, for my handbag collection. And I'm going to start off with, this one is my Salvatore Ferragamo. And let me get this, the big bag. So the color, this one is also a uh, chocolate brown color and there's the little class right there that's uh, Salvatore Ferragamo and uh, actually this right here is a, uh, a pocket inside of here and there is this is what the inside of the lining looks like so that's one pocket and then on the back there's uh, another pocket. This one is a snap closure. Here's the other pocket. And then there's the big main compartment here. And here it is right here. And this is the zipper. This zipper is really, it's long. I mean, this is a very long zipper. And um, it's also very deep. It goes really deep, so you can fit a lot of stuff in there. And this right here is the tag, Salvatore Ferratango, Ferratango bag, the um, tag right there. And this bag right here, like I said, it's really, really a big bag. I mean, I can fit a ton of stuff in here and still have plenty of room left over. And uh, there are the feet on the bottom of the bag. This is such a beautiful bag and I mean the leather just smells so so nice. Let me get a good close-up shot of the bag. So that is, this is the only Salvatore Ferragamo bag that I do have. So that's that one. And my next bag I'm going to show you, this is a uh, Fendi bag and this is a vintage bag that I have and this is alligator vintage alligator and there's the Fendi logo right there and um, it's not a big bag it also comes this right here is the shoulder strap that it comes with and um, this has feet as well but um, there's the Fendi tag right there. And this one has, it has the zipper right there. And it has two sections. It has this section right here. And then it has this section right here. So, and then what you would do is you would just take these right here are where the shoulder strap hook onto. So you just hook that there. Oh, I think I'm doing it backwards. Just hook that right there and then hook it on this one right here. And there you have your shoulder strap. So you can just, actually you can wear this crossbody too because it's really long. But this is, like I said, this right here is a, a vintage piece that I have in my collection. And it's a alligator. So, I only wear this one, of course, on special occasions when my husband and I are going out to dinner or something like that. So that's uh, my vintage Fendi. I also have another vintage Fendi piece. This one right here is all leather. And um, this right here you pull down like that. This is the Fendi sign right there. And... Um, this right here has the strap 
long strap. So this right here you can wear over your shoulder or cross body as well because the strap is very, very long. And um, it has a zipper. There's the Fendi tag right there. And it has a, just has the zipper compartment right there. And um, then just the one main compartment. But this piece right here is, is, is an older bag. Um, and it's all leather. Beautiful bag though. Very nice. The leather is, is really nice. And, um, you know, I keep all my, all my bags, you know, stuffed and inside their dust bags. So, you know, just, uh, um, I mean, you spend a lot of money on these bags, so you just want to keep them up. And this is a, a brown color. So that's my Fendi. And then this one right here is also um, my uh, Fendi bag as well. This one right here is really big, ginormous, ginormous bag. And uh, this is uh, my Fendi piece right here. And I really like the, the strap on this, the, the yellow. It gives it such a nice pop, pop color. And then on the inside, this right here is suede. And it closes with the uh, magnetic closure. And um, let's see if I can... The inside of this bag is... Um, Here's the Fendi, there we go, the Fendi tag right there. And on the back side of it is the date code there. So, but this right here, I mean, this right here, I, you know, I don't use this a lot. One, I don't want to get the suede on the inside too dirty. And um, this light right here is a little too much. But it's just a, a big bag, and uh, sometimes it's just a bit too much to be carrying around. And unfortunately, this does not have feet on the bottom, which I think it should because, I mean, it's such a big bag, and there's plenty of room for, for feet on the bottom, so I don't know why they didn't put it on there. But anyway, it doesn't have it. So, um, but yeah, this is the, my, my last Fendi bag. But again, I can fit a ton of stuff in here, and... Um, I don't put a lot of stuff in my bag just because it, it, it will just become too heavy to be lugging around and I don't want to end up with uh, my shoulder hurting my, me by the end of the evening. So that's my Fendi bag. And I'm going to move on to my next one, which is Christian Dior. This right here is a messenger bag. And... Um, is the Dior logo there. And uh, it also has a pocket back here. And this right here is just a snap closure. So you just unsnap it. And here's the strap right here. Nice long strap. It's adjustable, so you can adjust it to whatever fits comfortable for you. And then this right here, here's the tag for the Christian Dior and it has a zipper and um, this is really really deep so you can fit a lot of stuff in there and um, so yeah this is my Christian Dior bag this part up here is leather and then this is the fabric so this is what the bag looks like and then this right here is um, also Christian Dior and this is a vintage piece and this right here is a snakeskin um, it has a Dior tag right there and um, this right here again I only wear out on, on special occasions with my husband and uh, it's not a, a very a big bag it's a small bag so of course you wouldn't want to weigh this down but this is a, a, a vintage piece so this right here is my Christian Dior snaps right there, and um, let's see, yeah. So this this bag here. Let's see if you can see the snakeskin. There you go. And uh, this one right here is my Burberry bag. 
This is another big bag. Beautiful bag, but this bag by itself is so, so heavy that I um, really don't want to put a lot in here. But uh, just real quick, it has different, different compartments. It has this section right here. Then this right here is a zipper section where you can open up and store stuff there. And then there's this section right here. So, uh, yeah, but this is a heavy bag, but this one has feet on the bottom. This is like a bucket bag, but it's, I guess you would call it, no, a satchel. But it's really, really very big, so it fits in a lot of stuff. But I just really like the detail on this bag, how it looks there. So that is my Burberry bag. And my next bag is... This right here is my YSL, and the leather on this one is so, so soft. This is black, and um, there's the, the YSL right there, a little, I guess you call it, I don't know, a little bag charm, and then the YSL right here on this little twist lock to open up the bag. And uh, it's not a very deep bag, but, you know, it fits everything that I need in it. So that right there is my YSL bag. And then my next YSL bag is what the dust bag looks like, the YSL. This one is a vintage piece. This one kind of reminds me of the Speedy 30, but um, the YSL, this is like a rust color. So and that just goes all the way around. So that is uh, my YSL bag. And my last YSL bag, this one right here I, was my bag that I was using today. But um, a light color and I did not make a mistake with this one and uh, wear jeans. So I, I definitely don't want to get any jean transfer on this bag. But uh, here's the tag right here and then the, uh, the zippers have the YSL on it and also uh, there's a little key lock right there and um, here's the, the key for it is right inside of here there's the key the lock and this has all my stuff in it but here's the, the tag on the inside and you see the date code right there. I think you can see it. But uh, this is a nice, nice big bag. It can fit everything in it. Doesn't have, yeah, does have the feet on the bottom. So this right here is my last YSL bag that I have to show you guys. Put that one over there. And last but not least, some uh, Louis Vuitton. These right here are some uh, pochette. This right here is my monogram pochette right here. Nice cute little bag for take out for the evening. And then I also have it in the green epi leather right here. YSL. And uh, I like the inside of this right here. I like the, you know, it also has the green there on the inside. But that's the YSL shit. i just put this on here. Okay, there we go. So those are the two pochettes that I have. Okay. And moving on. This right here, Louis Vuitton, is uh, from the Sight Collection. This one here. I don't, um, you know, wear, wear it a lot just because I don't like it when it gets, the patina gets too, too dark. This right here is a nice, a nice color. But this right here is a pocket there, pocket there, pocket there, and then, you know, the main compartment on the inside there. But that is uh, my other Louis Vuitton 
piece there. And everybody has this one. This is the Dependable Speedy 30 in the monogram print with the lock right there. And, um, yeah. So that's the, my Speedy 30. Again, you know, I don't like the handles to get too patina, so. You know, I like to switch my bags out a lot so as not to wear them out. And this piece right here is another Epi. This is a Speedy 25. And I just love this color. They don't make this color anymore. And that's my, uh, had my initials hot stamp there with the gold. Oh, actually, two on the Speedy 30, I, too, had my initials hot stamped. I think I probably should have gotten the black, but anyway, I think the black would have shown up better instead of that gold. The gold one shows up really good on this on this color. You can really see it. And it has the pocket right here. I don't really put anything in this pocket because I don't want to stretch it out. But uh, this right here is my Epi Leather Speedy 25. Okay. And then my last piece that I have this is my baby, this one here, this one right here, this is my, this is my baby, my Alma, multicolor. I like the black one just because, again, you know, the white, you get the color transfer, so I don't have to worry about that. This is with the older one because it has the, the pocket right here, the zip pocket right here, and, um, you know, the inside, I have it stuffed, but, you know, the, not the suede color material on the inside and the bottom of the bag. But this is my multicolor, the black multicolor. And uh, the handles aren't too patina, you know, nice color, nice patina color. I wanted to get this one hot stamp, but they said they couldn't do it and I, because of the, the studs that are there, so they weren't able to hot stamp this one with my initials, but, you know, that's okay. So, that will conclude the end of my uh, bag collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will be doing another video, not today, because, you know, I'm all burnt out on doing all these videos and... Now I got to put all these handbags back, and um, but I did over the weekend uh, purchase two um, additional pieces that I would like to show you guys. Um, but I'll do that, you know, maybe next weekend or or whenever I you know can do it. Um, but uh, yeah, comment, uh, let me know, you know, what you guys think. Uh, give me thumbs thumbs up. Like I said, this is my um, first time ever doing any video handbag collection so be kind people but I really really would like you guys' feedback um, you know you know we all want you know take a, you know time to share our, our handbags and things and you know it's nice to get feedback to see what other people opinions are and um, you know what your favorite piece uh, you know what you liked um, so yeah, you know, comment, let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day, okay? Bye.